hello, my name's Dan. I will be your manager for this, and I'm going to run you through our instructions for how we would like the mock-ups made. So all of our mock-ups are uh, in, in a file called uh, masterbuilder.psd. It's a Photoshop file. Uh, make sure you download it, um, masterbuilder.psd. As you can see here, it's, it's, a, it's a, a file that's made up of a billion layers. So if you click on here, you'll see all the different colors of hoodies we have. Or here we have uh, all the t-shirts. Or here we have the ladies t-shirts. Okay. Um, you'll usually be assigned a group of designs to turn into mock-ups for a team, a sports team. So, for example, you might be assigned to make mock-ups based on the American NFL football team called the Green Bay Packers. And I'm going to use the Green Bay Packers as an example for this video. You will be assigned a different team, but again, I'm just going to use Green Bay as an example only. Um, you will be told where to find the designs you'll be working with uh, in a separate message. It's probably going to be in a Dropbox folder. You'll each have your own Dropbox folder, I think. And you just log in there every day and see what that day's assignment is. Uh, I'm not 100% sure how we're going to do that, but we will figure it out soon and you will know. So the first thing to understand is that each team has their own team colors. Again, in our example, we're going to use the Green Bay Packers. Their colors are green and gold, and it's important to know what these colors are, the exact colors are. So for the proper colors to use, always check here first. This is a website. Uh, I will, again, make sure you have this uh, URL. This is a very handy uh, page because as you can see it has their hex code colors and if you're into Photoshop you know what these are so if you for example are assigned to make uh, mock-ups based on Buffalo Bills designs you'll look here for these colors this page is broken into uh, several categories if you hit this little arrow here you'll see MLB that's Major League Baseball NBA is basketball, NCAA is college teams, NFL is football, that's what we're going to be working on today as an example, and NHL is hockey. So each of these is different. If you pick hockey, you'll see teams with their, their colors. Okay, but we're going to use football today, so let's go to NFL, and our team is going to be the Green Bay Packers, which is right here. So as you can see, they have uh, a dominant color, this dark green, and then a highlight color, which is this gold, so green and gold. With this job, you're not going to have to really ever worry that much about making uh, new designs because someone else will have already made the designs, and you're just going to put those designs on mock-ups. Okay? But you do need to know what the colors are because... There might be time, well, you're going to have to know what colors because you're going to have to know what shirt to pick. So we're going to do the Green Bay Packers. So you know we're probably going to want to put stuff on a green shirt, right? Um, but we also are going to want you to put it on a white shirt. We always want to have two colors for all shirts and hoodie designs. So let's let's take a look here at the master file. I'm going to turn this one off. We're going to start down here at the bottom. So ladies tees. Ladies stands for ladies tees. So for this example, you know, we're going to do Green Bay. So we know that their colors are green and gold. So we know we might put them on a green shirt, a gold shirt, and we always want to have a white shirt as well. So see, I have these three. Um, is it imperative to have always three? If you can have, if we do have the, the colors, uh, it would be nice to get them in all three, but it's not necessary. I mean, all, all we have to do is two colors. So in this case, I wouldn't necessarily use gold unless you don't have another choice. I'd use green 
and white. So we know that, I'm going to turn the white one off here. We know that Green Bay's color is green, so we're going to find the green one. It's, it's This one we'll use is uh, K-E-L, that's the color code. So we're going to use that one. Okay, now <clears throat> here's how we do it. We're going to open up the design. Again, you're going to have all of the designs you're working with. And uh, let's just go here. Let's let's open up, a, pick any of these. These are the designs. They will be labeled different things, uh, but we usually have two versions of a design. But let's just click on the first one. So let's copy this, and we'll come over here, paste it on here. We obviously have to <clears throat> make sure, <clears throat> excuse me, our layer is, uh, let's put this up on top so we can use it for everything. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to shrink this down. Okay, a little more. And okay. Let's move it over here so we can see what we're doing. Okay, that's pretty big, so let's just mush this down a little bit. We want to put it on the shirt, center it. A couple things to, to know. You're going to have to do this by eye, but we want the design to always start two and between two and two and a half inches from the bottom of the neck. So just like here. Don't put it down here. Some people like to make it centered. We don't want that. We want it up here about two and a half inches from the bottom of the neck. A good way to think of it is imagine a business card or a credit card. That That is the height is about two and a half inches. So right about like that we'd want it. Maybe it's a little big so we can shrink it down a little bit. But, you know, you, you get the idea. You want it to... Uh, look good something like this make sure it's centered and it looks good on the shirt now we're going to save that and i'm going to talk about how to save it in a second but we're going to save that and now we're going to go to the next one you know we're going to pick the next color okay well we're not going to do that because we know we're only doing green so we're going to do a green one but we also want a white version of the shirt okay well clearly that doesn't look good right because you can't read it so now we're going to go back over here and we're going to open the second design. They'll be named different things. This one is the white version. So basically these letters were changed to a darker color so you can read them. So we're going to copy that. We're going to come back over here. We're going to paste this one. Okay, we're going to again make this small enough so we can see what we're doing. Okay, we're going to come back here. We can turn this one off because we don't need that one anymore. You might want to use that one to center it or to make it the same size. In fact, let's do that. Let's make this one so it matches the same size as the other one. It's pretty close, so let's do that. Let's turn this one off. Again, we're going to want to center it, make sure it comes two and a half inches from the bottom of the neck. And we're going to do that, and then we're going to name that, you know, and I'm going to, again, tell you how to name it in a second. But, so that means that one's done, the green one's done, and the white one's done. Okay, we're going to, ladies' t-shirts are done, now we have to go up here and do the same thing to this t-shirt this is a unisex t so we're going to put this one on a white you know we're going to maybe make it bigger or smaller however you think looks good again two inches from the top then we're going to put it on the green one and for that we'd obviously need to use this design save that one so those are that's the end for this video. We'll go through the rest in, in the uh, next videos. So again, make sure that, you know, when you're working with this design, it's always two inches from the top, centered so it looks nice. Okay, I'll see you in the next video.